In this video, we're going to look at how easy it is to set up the Outlook integration, one of the many amazing tools that Maximizer offers to its users. To begin with, we hover on Administration and select Desktop and Mobile Setup. Now this is the same place that we'll go in another video to download the Word integration, but this time we're going to be downloading the Outlook integration. I click on the download and simply follow the prompts. I'll click Run. I'll click Yes to allow changes, and Maximizer proceeds to do its magic. And I click Finish. Please note that what we have done here is set up the integration with the Outlook client that is on your desktop. Now we go ahead and click on Outlook. This dialog box tells us that we're part way through the installation. Before I proceed with Next, I'm going to uncheck this box here. It says, uh, show the wizard again each time Outlook starts. That's not really necessary. I will click Next and enter in the URL that Maximizer sent me when I started off with my database. I'll now click Next. I'll select a SCONA tutorial since that's the name of the database I'm working. I will enter my username and my password and then click Next. Before we go on, let me jump back for just a moment. You only have to make an address book selection in the self-hosted Web Access version of Maximizer. If you are working with CRM Live, Maximizer's cloud version, you are automatically connected to the correct address book. Now Maximizer gives me some important options here which I like to check off. Include attachments when saving email, confirm when saving email, confirm when creating a contact, this other one, confirm when sending an email, can sometimes be useful, so I'll check that for now. My default entry type can be a company or contact, or a contact or an individual. I'll leave it at company and contact for now, and I'll click Next. This is where I have an opportunity to define how I will synchronize with Outlook. I prefer to select this one never. In other words, it becomes a manual synchronization. I only synchronize when I choose to, and I ensure that Maximizer overrides if there are any conflicts. I click Next, and I choose, perhaps, to synchronize my appointments between Outlook and Maximizer. I can select a certain number of days, weeks, or months before today, and the same thing for after today. I can also include private tasks. I can click Next and I can choose to synchronize my tasks or my to-dos on the same kind of a basis, also include private ones, and carry forward unfinished tasks. I can now choose Next and decide whether or not I actually want to synchronize address book entries back and forth between Outlook. If you choose to do it, make sure you go to the user guide and follow this through very carefully so that you do not generate duplicates in your Maximizer database. Once again, I click Next and the process of setting up the integration is now complete and I click Finish. What this does for me is give me access to a Maximizer ribbon up at the top of my Outlook screen, which I find very, very useful. Anytime I want to, I can click on Preferences here and go back through again the changes that I had done or uncheck various things. I can recheck my synchronization options and I can make changes there as seems appropriate as well. You remember I set up that synchronization between Maximizer and Outlook to be at my discretion. This button is now available for me. I can click on that and it goes ahead and does it for me. An entry is now highlighted in my Outlook and I can click here to view that contact in Maximizer. When I click on this, I notice this message. The selected action could not be completed. To complete the action, first select an Outlook address book list as the default address list. You may have this situation developed for you as well, and it simply requires one more thing to be done, but this time to be done within Outlook. Let me show you how that works. I come out of my Maximizer ribbon and come to Outlook Home. Go over here to the right to Address Book, click on Tools and Options, Leave this selected for Start with Global Address Book List, but down here I make sure that I have selected Contacts. I then click OK, Close Out, I close Outlook, and then restart Outlook for the change to take effect. Now when I go to Maximizer Ribbon and go to View Contact and Maximizer, 
I get this. No Maximizer address book entries exist for this contact. This means that Outlook and Maximizer have checked each other and verified that this particular entry does not exist in Maximizer. What I can do now is click on Create Contact. This will allow me to add Dustin as a contact in my address book. I will add him as an individual and I will click OK. Now that I have Dustin in my address book, I can save this email to his entry. I can also instruct Maximizer to save and track emails back and forth with Dustin. I can also create a task or a case with Justin and then if necessary I can save a copy of this email to an opportunity with him or to a case that's associated with him. Finally, I can click on the Home button for Outlook where again I have these options of saving these to Maximizer and viewing the contact in Maximizer. But look what happens if I decide to send a new email. I can click on the To button here. I can also click on the Address Book button over here and normally only have access to those entries that are in my Outlook address book. However, if I have synchronized contacts between Maximizer and Outlook, when I access the To button or the Address Book, I'll be able to see contacts that are within my Maximizer address book as well as those in my Outlook address book. I can even put an email address here that is not part of either address book and then I can select Send Email and Save to Maximizer and click this first level Send Email and Save to Contact. When I do that Maximizer will bring up this dialog box that gives me the option to create a new entry in Maximizer. Once I've created that new entry, I will be able to save the email that I'm sending to that entry in Maximizer the same as if I had actually sent it from Maximizer in the first place. I think you can see that this is a powerful tool and a powerful integration that we have between Outlook and Maximizer. Just one more of those amazing things in Maximizer that helps you become more efficient in how you manage your business. Bye for now.